know, going fast, fast, you know, followed by an enormous crash um, and an immediate explosion. Um, I don't think we could feel shockwaves, but we, we sort of felt like we did. And we were in a position where we could see story World Trade Center towers were designed to withstand the impact of a commercial jetliner. Yet with it. November 12, 2001. It's the Veterans Day holiday in the United States. A day off for many. But at New York's John F. Kennedy Airport, it's another busy day. Flight 587. 10-10 wins. You give us 22 minutes. We'll give you the world. Good morning. 64 degrees at 6 o'clock. But we thought we were going back to Washington, D.C. The concern at that point was, I'm a sitting duck sitting here on the ramp, but such an enormous aircraft just sitting on the ground. There was a lot of confusion, so we had to assume the president was a target. South of the Brooklyn Bridge is in a dust cloud. There's no visibility. 9-11, 2001. strike a stunning blow against the mightiest superpower on the planet. When America was attacked on the morning of 9-11. Another one just hit the building. Wow. Oh my. What? See the effects. And we also know that it affects um, liquid. Questioned about this, Boeing representatives refused to discuss it. This is what the underside of a Boeing 760. Notice the right engine titanium shaft of the building. This sequence visualizes the damage to the core columns and to their connecting horizontal beams used in the animation system to automatically produce a plausible fire visualization. As can be seen in this side by side visual. Before. Push back. You have outside the Pentagon, CNN's north. It was uh, for, uh, firefighters were still trying to put out the blaze. The, the fire, by the way, is still. When you look at the size of the cross, how does a plane of those dimensions fit into a hole only 65 the steel and collapse the building? Or so that's what we were told. FaceTime me because I could see his handsome face and stuff. <laughs> you learn to rely a lot on who you have. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Five. I'm nine. You're six. 